Hello guys, it's Randall with Visio Designs. So I woke up this morning, my HTC One M8 was not connecting to mobile data. It was, uh, mobile data was on and it was connected to a cell phone tower, but it was disconnected. So I wanted to do a quick Google search to see if other people were experiencing the same issue and what their solutions were. And I was kind of disappointed by what I found. Most people are talking about flashing ROMs. They're talking about other stuff that, um, in my opinion, is probably not going to be the most common reason for uh, this problem with the HTC One M8. It actually really isn't a problem as per se. What's actually going on is the RAM needs to be flushed once in a while so you need to shut down your phone and to be honest I haven't shut down my phone probably since I bought it. So what we're going to do is try and do a soft reset and see if that fixes the problem. Okay so what we're going to do a soft reset. How you do this on the HTC One M8 is you hold down the power button and the volume up at the same time. It can be tricky but eventually you should get it. If you do it correctly you're going to see a pop-up that says continue pressing the power restarting in two seconds. So now the phone is restarting and doing a soft reset. It's going to take a minute here but one thing that I love, one of the many things that I love about the One M8 is the fast boot up and overall it's a very fast phone. I love this phone. I hate the Verizon pop-up but anyway. Log in here. We're going to go to settings, but uh, one of the things it's got to do is going to prepare the SIM card. So it's going to pop up here in a minute and say it's preparing the SIM card. Don't worry. It's not destroying anything. It's perfectly safe. Alright, so now we are connected to a tower. We're going to go back to settings. And now it's mobile data is connected. This may not fix every problem related to mobile data being disconnected, but it's going to fix the most common one. If you don't shut your phone off often, then the RAM may need to be flushed. So try this out, see if it works. Comment below, let me know if it helped you. Please like and subscribe.